What I've always tried to do as an artist is question hierarchies. That's what I've done with my paintings and with my sculptures. And that's definitely what the farm does. Very simply put, it's just like, you know, do, do only some people deserve this food or does everybody deserve this food? And I think everybody deserves this food. For the past 10 years, we've been growing food through sustainable methods and um, donating 100% of everything that we grow to communities in the Hudson Valley and in New York City, which have been historically marginalized. You know, what really sets us apart is the variety of food that we grow and donate. We have, from the very beginning, been in, in direct dialogue with the communities that we're growing for. In addition to that, we've always had an internship program, which is now turning into a fellowship program. And, you know, all of this together, the type of farming that we do, the way in which we distribute that food, is really kind of part of this full trajectory towards supporting food sovereignty and supporting a new generation of farmers. Our food system in America is based on an agricultural system and an industrial system, which are both based basically entirely on oppression and dispossession. So if you take that as the foundational block, then it's not going to manifest a healthy relationship between people and their food. More often than not, those who are lacking access to the resources they need to thrive who live in food insecure neighborhoods, who experience food apartheid, they're not the ones who are given, you know, organic vegetables or meat that was raised in a responsible way and is incredibly nutrient dense. It's a lot of handoffs. It's a lot of like, just more kind of industrially processed foods that are nutrient deficient. There are these kind of hidden costs of production that are not accounted for, like greenhouse gases. And we end up paying for those in different ways. So when we think about cost, it's not even an accurate reflection of what we're actually paying for. Sky High is able to actually first and foremost think about how to bridge this gap between people who really have the greatest need for healthy, nutritious food and who are most actively barred from that. More and more, especially in the last two, three years, there's an increased interest in finding ways to support that kind of paradigm shift. Even though we are located in an agriculturally rich part of a New York state, which is also an agricultural state, I think people are similarly disconnected from where their food comes from. It's hard to drive around and not see a farm, but I think seeing the farm and understanding what happens on the farm are two separate things. And so Sky High is really about connecting people to food in a more deliberate and meaningful way, and our focus is connecting people to food who are often unable to get the type of food that we're growing here. It's, okay, how do you first attack the fallout of the problems and then attack the problems as well? So, you know, Sky High is actively attracting interest and support and then redistributing that support to people on the ground who can then work to reshape their own experiences and define their own means of production and their own agricultural systems.